Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Well it must be because it says it up there. <laughs> right, well uh, I'm just going to go through a few things here. Uh, I've jotted a few things down, so we're going to do a quick video. Uh, I'm going to finish this other one off tomorrow because I'm not going to put too much out just yet because I'm just waiting on some information coming through. Right. First things first. Shout out to Robin Reed. My pal. Robin Reed Healthcare Tablets. Uh, Uh, he's doing all right, Robin. He's got his health care range out for vitamins and fat burners, food supplements, and all sorts. So, good luck to Robin. He's one of the nicest people you'll meet in the boxing industry, and he's a close friend of mine. And I wish him all the best. So, if anybody's looking at getting vitamins or food supplements or anything, you could do a lot worse than get in touch with Robin Reed at Motivit. So, he looks after all my pals. Good kid. Well, I mean, Robin looks a million dollars, doesn't he? For was he 40, nearly 40? He's my age, Robin, isn't he? I'm 49, October. I think his birthday is was it February, January, February, around about that time. So I think it's about four months between me and Robin, three or four months. I know that looks like about 14 years, doesn't it? <laughs> but uh, so they must work and tablets, but. Ask Bunny Johnson from Sheffield if they work. Go follow Bunny Johnson on uh, Twitter. Ask him if Robin Reed's tablets are any good. Right. Question in from Rico Helia. He's uh, a good boxing man. I like Rico. Good friend of mine. He started a channel with me. Oh, he got me started. Uh, his friend, uh, he does a lot of writing for media websites and podcasts and he does a lot with New Age, Podfather which I'm a fan of. Rico's asked me to ask Rico's asked me to ask on the channel, the fans, boxing fans will the British UK media turn on Anthony Joshua well, I'm not so sure will they or won't they. They turned on Tyson Fury and he'd not been beat when he when he was champion. Joshua's been beat, will they turn on him? I don't think so. I mean, what I'm noticing over the last couple of days, it's all starting to come out now, isn't it? Uh, it's all starting to come out now regarding... Uh, it's all starting to come out regarding PR work. I mean, we've got... Adam Smith and Joshua, they're coming out doing videos and the Kogan Cassius, has he, has he said something on, on IFL, he's waiting for the Eddie Earn interview but I noticed that uh, IFL have already been down to see all Fish Eyes Frank, let's have a look what all Fish Eyes is saying. Frank Warren's going on about stuff there that I've already wrote down and been saying for months about the EIS. Now, so good old Frank, good old Frank Warren. But looking at it, it's got 250 likes, 250 dislikes. So, I don't know, so basically the Joshua Arm, Barmy Army, you know. They're already out in force. Listen, 
There's a lot I can't say because it'll, it's going to drop. It's going to drop some of the unit, but there's a lot. There's a lot I can say. I can't say my opinion because I fall out with this person. But do you know what, right? We've just been party and witnessed the biggest con game ever for the last for the last seven year. For seven years we've been conned. We've had seven years of being conned. And they're gonna try and continue to keep the con going. Eddie Hearn's gonna try and keep it going. Eddie Hearn is already in. 25 minutes before it cuts off, I don't wanna get it perfect. Eddie Hearn is already in Eddie Hearn mode. He's already out in America, isn't he? He's trying to sort out the. Uh, he's trying to sort out the Joshua mess in it, because that's what it is basically. It's a mess in it, and uh, they were getting frozen out anyway, weren't they? That's why they had to go to America. They got frozen out. Now, I personally think that they were worried about going to Wembley with Dillian White and not doing the numbers. Dillian White had earned the right though, hadn't he really? I mean, what is he, number one? Is he number one across board in two or three? Is he number one in three out of the five bodies? Or, I know he's number WBA or so. He's very highly ranked. Dillian White's highly ranked. He's very, he's, uh, so as far as I'm concerned, you know, it's everything's geared around Joshua, isn't it? But, you know, it'll be interesting to see Frank's interview. I'm going to watch that when I get in tonight, but uh, I've got loads on today. You know what? It's supposed to be... I promised my uh, kids I was going to do some with, with, something with them later, but I said, I got, I said to, I'm well I'm invited to meet Wales Gym at 4.30, but I've really got some on tonight. I don't know if I can go. Uh, Just had half a slice of toast, I feel sick. Right, let's just go through this. I've jotted a few bits and bobs down. Alright Dave? Alright Paul. I've jotted a few bits and bobs down. Will the media, media turn on AJ? Uh, for quitting like they did Khan and Amir Khan and Kel Brook. You know, uh, You know, they quit on Khan, they quit on Kel Brook. You know, sorry, they, 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 they turned on Khan, Kel Brook, O'Hara Davis. Or will it all be manipulated? I'm not sure. I'm not sure to be honest, but uh, I doubt it very much because they're already in PR mode. Sky's owned by Rupert Murdoch and doesn't have a lot to do with the newspapers. So no, I don't think they'll turn on him. I think they want to do. Uh, I think there's certain journalists that are very, very unhappy with stories about Joshua and... You know, I have to be careful how, how you how, how you come out with things on YouTube because you can very easily end up in a lot of trouble. And uh, like I said, we're, uh, we're legal, so the last thing we want is legal issues. But there is rumours, uh, from what I've been told, that there's stories about them. And we all know that Fleet Street, you know, have got a file on AJ that the powers that be are blocking, apparently. What's on them files, I don't know. Probably his criminal record, but if you wanted AJ's criminal record, you get that online for £29.99. But you can't go around shouting it off because they shut you down, don't they? They shut you down, they shut me down on Twitter. I know another one, one of my mates, Gaz, they shut him down on Twitter. Joshua's big business, massive business, and Andy Ruiz has shook him up. I mean, the bending rules left, right, and centre, aren't they, for Joshua, for uh, everything, to keep the gravy train going. Because these casuals, are, they're not. These casuals, they're not just. 
They're not just casual boxing fans, are they? They are super casuals. That's like a, a breed on their own. That's what they are. They are super casuals. Now, don't ever buy a pair of Oakley glasses that are not plastic arms. Look, the bend and look sharp on that. Be digging into my head, man. Look, I'm having to bend them to get it around my fat head. So I'll never buy another pair of prescription Oakley glasses again. And I like Oakley sunglasses. Well, let me get back to this. Will Joshua have to stay on Sky Sports channel to be protected by Rupert Murdoch and all the cronies? Yeah, I think he will. I think he will. Uh, have you noticed how they've hushed up the Joshua dad story? <laughs> they shut that one down, didn't they? Hey, it's been took off the footage, hasn't it? I've been told. So they shut that one down, but. You know, I've heard massive talks are going on. We earn in USA. I've jotted that down. Uh, these are just things you can all get this stuff offline and you can have a chat with people in the industry and he's out there still. Uh, I know somebody who were actually down down Ed, where Eddie's office is out the other day. Somebody sent me a thing and uh, I've still got it on here. They said it were empty. Car park were empty. Yeah, they're probably still in New York. Trying to uh, They're probably still in New York trying to uh, They're trying to get the rematch now But what I want to know is why has Hearn come out and said the rematch has been triggered? Why? Yeah, I can understand the rematch is in the contract and you've got 30 days to trigger the rematch. But why hasn't Ern shown some compassion, you know, to Joshua, with, you know, as regards the rematch being triggered after 48 hours? He tr Eddie Hearn has triggered the rematch after 48 hours. He looks like a slave master, doesn't he? Show Joshua some compassion. They could have triggered that rematch after 28 days, couldn't they, or 26? Or three weeks, they could have let Joshua go to Dubai. Let him go to Dubai three weeks, get some sun or let him go spend some time with his little boy or his parents. I don't want to sound like I'm giving Joshua some compassion in it because I ain't got no compassion for him. That man, Anthony Joshua, has raped UK boxing. Now, I know somebody who were a pay-per-view fighter and he earned X amount, so I'm not going to say who and I know what people were getting on the undercard but I also know what Anthony Joshua were paying people on the undercard now yeah you're going to have O'Hara Davis coming out to Joshua's defence, why? because he gave him an extra five grand when he fought on his card well, good luck to him innit but you know, they, they, were, they were at matchroom years, so why not? But when you're earning millions and other people are hardly earning anything, and David Allen's right, what David Allen said. You know, they're taking 95% at money, and they're sharing 5% out. What sort of person fights for 35 million? 35 million, and then a guy, a matchroom fighter like Tommy Coyle gets... I'm not going to say what Tommy got, but I know. Now, what 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 we're gonna what we're gonna do about that? Now, why should he get 35 million and Tommy get, you know, six figures? Why should that happen? Hey, why should that happen? Why? What makes him worth 35 times what Tommy Coyle got? How can that be right? 35 times what Tommy Coyle got. Roughly. Why is that? Why can that man? No. No, sorry. It's 350 times. 10. 30. 350 times what Tommy Coyle. Hey, Kev! Is he not there? 
So Tommy Coyle gets roughly $100,000, right? And they get $35 million. What's all that about? 350 times more. And he owns the show. What the fucking hell's going on? Hey? It's fucking wrong, isn't it? It's wrong. It's wrong, it's so wrong. The greed in them is unbelievable, isn't it? The greed. And you know, watching them at the moment, people say, Oh, Russell, you're reveling in it. My kid's mum said to me the other day, Well, oh, do you know what, Russ? You're reveling in this, aren't you? I went, No, I'm not. She says, you are. I says, no, I'm not. She says, you love it. I says, no, I'm not. This is how I look at it, right? Them fuckers have milked it, haven't they? With stubble and pay-per-view. And they're fucking copying it now, aren't they? So... The greed in them. The greed in these people is unbelievable. And do you know what? Greedy people. I have a problem with greedy people. I ain't got no time for greed. I mean, who's to say AJ even wants to fight? He will have people in his ear to fight. They don't have his best interests at heart, these people. How many of these people around AJ? How many of these people around Anthony Joshua have said to him, Anthony, we want you to fight, but we think you should take a break. Because we're hearing stories about all sorts of conspiracy stories, aren't we? The Anthony Joshua conspiracy. We're, we're hearing all sorts, aren't we? But, uh, I just think it's so wrong. We're hearing that there's... We're, we're hearing loads of conspiracy stories. There's none I've heard them all about this as... There is, well, there is, there is none. I've heard all about this. I've had, my writing's getting terrible. I've had, con oh, he's had concussion. He's had that, hasn't he? Because of sparring. He's had a panic attack. If that's happened, that's awful. He didn't look right on night. He's under pressure. He's got a lot on. He's got loads of business. Well, he's always walking around saying he's taking care of his business, isn't he? He's got a lot on his plate. We're hearing people say, yeah, he's too muscly, he's got big muscles, he's, he's more, Andre Ward said that, he's more bothered about lifting dumbbells instead of boxing, big muscles need oxygen, well Frank Bruno used to run six mile every morning, you know he had wrong gum, I've heard Adam Smith come out here and say he's had wrong gum shield, I've heard it all, but how about this one, how about this one, how about how about he just simply, how about he just simply got beat by the better man? How about that? He got beat by the better man, didn't he? He got beat by the better man. How about that one? How about that one? Little fat kid beat him. Hey? Little fat kid, three and a half stone heavier than me, jumped in the ring and knocked him about. He didn't not only beat him, he smoked him. He smoked him. And now the Hearns are banging trouble now. Banging trouble. What are you going to get now? You're going to get the WBU belt. <laughs> they're, going to make, they're going to do what Barry Hearn did with the WBO belt years ago. They're going to get the WBU belt and go again. But he simply got beat by the better man on the night. Now Barry Hearn's saying that, Eddie's saying that, Joshua's saying that. But nobody else is saying it. These These... Casuals have got a mind of their own, haven't they? But the media I've seen so far, the Phelps interview. You know, you know the the Mr. Bean interview. I mean, shh, unbelievable. You know what I mean? It's just shocking. Let me just turn this off. Now, uh, you've probably just seen the Mr. Bean uh, video on uh, Sky Sports. Now, how can I explain it? 
Uh, you heard, you heard the excuses coming out. The media, so far, from what I've seen, you know, they're like, I can explain it. You know, Michelle Phelps and people like that, Rob Tebbett, you know, Coogan to a lesser extent, they're all monitor lizards, aren't they? Monitor lizards that are crawling up their arseholes, aren't they? Up the crack of their arseholes. Fucking monitor lizards, that's what they are. It's unbelievable. And like, I want to see some people answer, ask some proper questions instead of tiptoeing around it and saying, I'm gattered, I'm gattered. They're not fucking good. IFL have gone straight to Frank Warren today for an interview. They're just going to stir it pot. They're going to go from Frank and then they're going to go back. And they're going to interview Eddie when he gets back. And they're going to stir it like that. They have their own opinion that they speak to regarding these matters. But they will not share it on social media. Unlike moi here. Who... Uh, I've got a bit. I've got a bit more about me than them, like the one I really, and I've got a little bit more about me. Do you know what I mean? Now, the the media I've seen so far, the Phelps interview. I saw that we had here, Michelle Joy Phelps regarding Joshua's uh, old man, Big Daddy Joshua, uh, having a pop at uh, Eddie Earn. It's all been hushed up now, but I was a bit disappointed with uh, MJP. Michelle Joy Phelps, uh, as, and as a bit disappointed with it, and, I, and as Boxing Monkey said on the comment section, and that's my new my new couple of words for the next few days: monitor lizards. Because I put monitor lizards on YouTube, and there you go, Bing. A, a picture of a monitor lizard should pop up on screen there, actually. <laughs> I've got to dig the picture out now and send it though to get it up, but, but anyway. When I go like that, a picture's supposed to appear, but it depends, uh, depends if my editor, editing partner's got enough time, but the two words there, monitor lizard, or is it one word? Go Google what they do, they've got this tongue that all it does is just pop out all the time. Every time they breathe, the tongue comes out, and that's what these people are. I look at them, I'm not like David Icke, but I look at them, Michelle Phelps, Coogan, Rob Tebber, and I like Coogan, but they have, they, I understand they have to be view holes, but, and Rob Tebber, king of the bot accounts. I look at them, and these people are, and I, Umar, I have fellow Umar, they are fucking monitor fucking lizards. They work the room, they go all over, and they have like a group. You know, as, of certain people, you know, like Hat Man Strikes Back. He's a monitor lizard, isn't he? When he's talking about Eddie Earn and sporting icons. He's even got Eddie Earn introducing his videos. Now, these people, they have access, don't they, to, you know, your Frank Warrens, you know, your, 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 your Eddie Earns, your Barry Earns, your Joshua's, your Wilders, your Billy Joe Saunders, your Dave Allens, Kel Brooks, Amir Khan's, people like that. Now, all they do is monitor lizard these people. They lick ass. You know, and it's uh, it's not good in my opinion. It's not good. But what can you do? What can you do? It's, uh, how can I say it? It's bad for business. But Eddie Hearn has all of a sudden decided, he's decided that, he is excited. Eddie is so excited, he says. Eddie Hearn is so excited about Anthony Joshua's comeback and his next chapter of his career. Eddie Hearn is so excited. I'm so excited. Did you like that video there? Old Eddie Hearn, eh? What do you think? I'm excited for this new chapter. What do you think? I feel like there's a lot of weight off his shoulders now. To my new editing, eh? We're smashing it this week, aren't we, with channel? We're smashing it. But we've got to keep on top of the game, haven't we? It's no good. People backing me with these officers and, and other little goodies and perks. You know, uh, a few, few chocolate bars and blah, blah, blah. Look, it's no good. People backing me with this channel and 
coming on board and if, I'm, if we're not going to do the job right now as far as I'm concerned we've just got to tell it straight haven't we and we've just got to tell it straight which brings me to Baza the Baza debate or Baza watch aka Barry Hearn the godfather of uh, soul is it no that's James Brown in it the godfather of British boxing, that's him. Barry Hearn, the godfather of British boxing. And, uh, bing, there you go. There's Bazza. Now, what I'm going to tell you now is statistics, and this is what I'm good at. Shout out to Robin Reed Healthcare Multivix. I'm giving you a free plug there, Robin. In fact, I'm going to pop a couple of these now, just so you know that they work. <laughs> energetic already right here's a few pointers for you Barry Hearn says he's not a slave master right you all saw the interview didn't you where, where Barry Hearn said you know fuck you and blah de blah good old Bazza we can always rely on Bazza can't we to, to 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 come out with a slave trade and stuff and he says he isn't now and that, but he was, he admitted it and then he turned it to fighters weren't in control of the destiny. Well I'm going to show you what Baza was and it's all out there. It's on the net, it's all there. you just got to learn how to grab it. Now, which is pretty easy, you just press Barry Hearn box, right? Or Chris Eubank box. Right? Now, Chris Eubank, right? He didn't have Chris Eubank from debut. Did he? So, what I'm going to do, you're going to see a little video now, so I'll let you see this. He's managed more than 30 world champions and promoted over 500 fights, and in that time, he's not taken too many wrong turns. Well, that is a, uh, yeah, technically that is true, but Barry Hearn has only had one world. Dennis Hobson's had one, Clinton Woods, but Barry's had one. From the actual debut, one. And he went to the end of his career with Barry. Barry's had none, they all left him. All Barry's world champions that he had from debut left him. They didn't finish the career with him. Herbie Hyde started with him, he didn't finish with him, but he won a WBO that wasn't even recognised at the time. But he cashed him in first defence against Riddick Bowe. That's by the by, but he's had one world champion. And he's had four. Cal Yafai, Charlie Edwards, Callum Smith, and Joshua. And Joshua's not got a belt at the moment, so... Three out of that four are still going strong for Eddie. How many of the four will finish the career with Eddie? I don't know. But I'm just going to show you exactly that Barry Hearn was a slave master a proper slave master Chris Eubank right Christopher Livingston Eubank beat Nigel Ben 1990 five year later or 58 months should I say later he lost to Steve Collins in a rematch so Ben to the Steve Collins rematch was 23 fights, 23, it's all there online, go on box rec. So 23 fights in 58 months and a few days, whatever it were. It comes to Chris Eubank having a fight every 76 days. What do you think to that? Is that Barry Hearn flogging Christopher Eubank? Is that a slave trader? Oh, well, I don't know. You know, his job's to box, but... That's why they had a lot of bums, didn't they, in them days? But let's forward it. Let's forward it a bit to Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua beat Charlie Martin. We all know about that, don't we? We all know he beat Charlie Martin. Right, he beat Charlie Martin, right, Anthony Joshua, and then he lost to Ruiz in his eighth world title fight. So Joshua basically 
went seven and oh sorry seven and one in his uh, his top end of his career and he, you know Joshua's we Eddie isn't he we know about that don't we so we all agree on that don't we we all agree right so so far so good yeah Anthony Joshua right Anthony Joshua had 91 rounds in his career so far 91 rounds 91 is that a lot is that a lot of rounds 91 what do you think to that hey 91 rounds 23 fights but he had eight fights at the top end of his career in 38 months. So Joshua, right, in 91 rounds in his career, but he had eight fights from Charlie Martin. We're talking top fights, aren't we? Eight fights with Charlie Martin. From Charlie Martin to Ruiz, he's had eight fights in 38 months. That's a fight every 144 days. 144 days Anthony Joshua's been fighting so that's five and a half months isn't it four and a half months is it five months is 150 days isn't it so it's just under five months isn't it Chris Eubank two and a half months so it's like double isn't it 76 twice is 152 days 144 so Christopher Eubank's working twice as much now Christopher Eubank's career, right, Christopher Eubank's career, let me tell you, he had 393 days, 393 rounds, sorry. So, so he lost his world title, right, to uh, Steve Collins and uh, basically, you know, he had 393 days. 393 rounds, keep getting rounds come. Now, what do you think to that? Now, it's you now the world title were over, world title were over for Joshua. Now his first stint at it. 91 rounds, yeah, had a lot of rounds, Joshua. He's basically a novice, isn't he? But like I just said, Eddie Hearn's not flogged him, has he? They've preserved him. But what they've done, they've flogged him outside the ring, haven't they, Joshua? He's been pulled about left, right and centre. You know, he's got a gym in London and that, and blah de -bar, and He's pulled about all over the place, basically. He's pulled about all over the place. Now, Chris Eubank was just flogged in the ring, wasn't he, basically? He was just flogged in the ring, right? Flogged to death. Now, after Steve Collins beat him, he had a couple of quick KOs, then he had a couple of 12, 12 rounders with Carl Zaghi and Thompson. And then he had that one with Carl Thompson where he got stopped in his last fight, which got stopped in uh, the 8th round or something. Uh, got stopped in ninth round. So we've got 9 there, 12, 24 had 9, 33 rounds, a couple of quick ones here. Have a look. Round four. You get a round four, that's 37. So basically, Eubank. Round five. 42 rounds, 42. So 351 rounds Eubank had had. And Barry Earn and imparted. So Barry Earn got his pound of flesh out, Chris Eubank, didn't he? He had him in that ring at top level every 76 days. But Eddie had Joshua in that ring every 144 days. So Eddie didn't flog Joshua as much. But Joshua were a marketing machine, wasn't he? So they needed more time to market him. Eubank, he used to rub people up the wrong way. He wasn't exactly marketed by the Hearns. Worry like Eddie marketed Joshua. So they had to keep him active to earn him. What these people do, they flog you to death, don't they? They use and abuse you, then send you on your way. That's the nature of the beast, isn't it, I suppose? It's just the nature of the beast. They all take the cuts. Joshua, Joshua knows the risks. I know, I know people are screaming about it's this and that. Look, his job's to fight, isn't it? 
you can't blame the Hearns, it's all within the rules, but I think it's in bad taste, Eddie Hearn triggering the rematch after 48 hours straight away and people are saying that, you know, Eddie's, Eddie Hearn talked Joshua's dad and Joshua out of pulling out and we're not going to get to the bottom on it, but Joshua's squashed the rumours so we have to leave it at that, don't we? Otherwise you end up getting sued. But uh, moving on, I want to I wanna talk about Larry Holmes though, Larry Holmes. Now Larry Holmes, from beating Ken Norton to losing the Spinks rematch, he had 23 fights as well, just like Christopher Eubank. Now Larry Holmes, they called Don King, they called Don King a slave master, didn't they, yeah? Now Larry Holmes didn't have sponsors either, he won't like Joshua, but Larry Holmes fought, after beating Ken Norton for the world title, he fought every 129 days. Now Barry Hearn had Eubank out every 76 days. So does that mean that Barry Hearn is a bigger slave master than Don King? Well yeah it does doesn't it really because 76 days to 129 days, that's a slave master isn't it? Do you know what I mean? A proper slave master. Now Larry Holmes Uh, Larry Holmes had a career with 579 rounds oh my god 579 rounds but you know it is what it is isn't it you know you know the risks didn't you Larry Holmes 75 fights though do you know what I mean 75 fights but as far, as far as I'm concerned, you know, Larry Holmes said he was fighting every 129 days at top level. And I look at Barry Earn doing that to Eubank and I think that's bad. So, and Eddie, and Eddie Earn wasn't as bad as Don King, was he really? But like I said, Joshua's been, he's been out, he's outside of the ring. They've, they've, had, they've worked Joshua, haven't they, really? They've worked him to death, haven't they? But, er... Uh, it is what it is, isn't it? I think that's about it, really. There's, uh, we've covered most. You know, it's it, boxing's full of greedy. Boxing's full of greedy people, isn't it? It's full of greedy people that are not going to let up in it. That's just how I look at it. Full of greedy people that are just going to keep milking it and milking it. But when you go to bed tonight, I want you to remember this: Barry Hearn is a slave master. Yeah, you bank out every 76 days for 23 fights at the top level. From Nigel Benn to the Collins rematch, Eubank was on the television every 76 days. Fighting his heart out. Whatever he was doing, he took punishment, didn't he? Well, look how it ended for him. And then, you know, he, he went bankrupt and blah de blah and Barry Earn said he didn't want... He didn't want fighters to to end up like agree to like Joe uh, Lewis. But what ended up what ended up with Chris Eubank? He ended up a bankrupt, didn't he? And Barry Earns an accountant. So and he was best man at Eubank's wedding. Best man at his wedding, but yeah, he's got him in ring every seven to six days. Do you think the Hearn family care for boxers? Pretty deep stuff this. Eddie, if you've got a problem, email me, porkycorner at mail.com or email, email me on uh, my personal email account, Eddie, you know it. So, or give me a ring, you've got my number. If you've got a problem, you want to come on channel, Eddie, feel free, but I'm just pointing out that your dad was a slave master, like I've just said, and I will fucking say it again. They had you bank out every 76 days. Hey, eh? what's all that about? 76 days. Do you remember his fucking world tour? Where did they go on that world tour? On Sky. Eh? Where, it, where, did they, where did they go on that world tour? Let's have a look. On the, on, on, on the Barry Earn world tour for Eubank. Let's have a look. I'll show you where they went on this fucking world tour.
What on earth is that? They fought, they fought Ron Essert in Almansil Hotel Quinta. Where's that? South, is that Af South Africa? I don't even know where that fucking is. Portuguese. They went to. Is that Portugal? Commission. Looks like they went to Portugal. Four fights on show. Jesus. Uh, this, is this the world tour? Portugal. England, Portugal, Germany, Rossi Gianni, that's one of his what's one of his best uh, wins that he won that on points. Uh, South Africa, Cork, or oh, Steve Collins, is that it? That's it, they went to Cork twice. Oh, they went to Ireland twice, South Africa, Germany, Portugal. That is it. That is it. He had his first five fights in uh, Atlantic City, you bank, didn't he? But, uh, yeah, Barry Hearn is a slave master. Vaz, still like you, Vaz, but you were a slave master. And you were right. You, you, you Promoters back in the day were slave traders. You were slave traders. And do you know what? Joshua may be out every 144 days, not 76 days, but, and this is a big but, we all know that you flogged Joshua up here. The kids took too much on, aren't they? Why is Joshua trying to be Mr. B Mr. Businessman and all this and Mr. Commercial and all that? That has overrided him learning how to be a boxer because really, he can't box eggs, can he? We've just seen him, he can't box eggs. Dave Allen's right, Joshua, he's just an athlete, isn't he? With a bit of power, he's just an athlete. Carl Frotch once said to me, he goes, you know what? You know what, Porky, boxing will take the average man so far. But you need a bit of talent. Now, Joshua's got a tiny bit of talent, but he's an athlete, isn't he? He's sub-100, he's, he's just touching on 11 seconds for 100 metres, isn't he? He's a big, powerful, six foot six, eighteen stone athlete that's been taught to box and has picked it up and he's managed to fumble his way through. Because look, look what Joshua's done in ten year. Ten year ago, he took boxing up as a nineteen year old, didn't he, Joshua? Ten years ago, he took boxing up, and in that ten years, he's won Olympic gold. And he's had 91 fights. So he's had 91 rounds as a pro and it's all over for a minute. British, Commonwealth and four wheel title belts. And it were all over in 91 rounds. 91 rounds. 22 and 1. 22 fights, 1 loss. All over in under 100 rounds. 91 rounds and he's already lost and he's already having to climb back up. But they've made millions, haven't they, our marketing him. The kid's got a good physique. he had his teeth done all fancy. He's got the... He's got the Frank Bruno laugh. He doesn't have a girlfriend. He doesn't have a boyfriend. So nobody knows what's what. Well, it's right, isn't it? He's not even allowed to be out seen out with a girlfriend, is he? Because they want to milk both markets. The, you know, the people who like chicks. And the, and the men who like chicks. And the men who like men, they want to milk it both. You never see him out with a woman, do you? Just like they did with Lennox, they marketed him like that, didn't they? Look, it is what it is, isn't it, right? The kid can fight a bit, but he's not the real deal, is he? They've selected their opponents and he got exposed. That's the bottom line, he got exposed and... You know, it's a shame, isn't it? But the moral of the story is this. Christopher Eubank Senior, Christopher Livingston Eubank, Beat Nigel Ben from him to Collins rematch. He fought every 76 days. I can't get that out my head. When I look at fighters today with world titles fighting every five, six months, and old Eubank were there spilling his guts every two and a half months. Eh? Every two and a half months. And you've got people nowadays talking about fatigue and pressure and all that. Oh my god. Eubank must be the toughest man in the world. He must be the toughest man in the world. Carl Thompson ran over him though, didn't he? Twice. He ran over David A as well, didn't he? 
He's an hard man, him, Carl Thompson. Ask Dennis about hard, man, hard men that he's met. He'll say Clinton Woods and Carl Thompson. Woo. But yeah, 76 days, I can't get that out of my head. It's all there, on. It's all there for you. All there, look. All there online. All there online. 76 days. Unbelievable. I think we should put that in capital, shouldn't we? On the old uh, Nicola, put that up in some green capitals. I want it to go across sheet, cross green. Christopher Eubank fought with from Nigel Ben to Steve Collins rematch on Barry Hearn shows every 76 days at top level. Can't get it out of my head. But yet we're called Don King a slave master, and he had Larry Holmes out every 129 days. What does that make Barry Hearn a fucking pimp? Eh? Eh? A pimp. Bing! Pimp. Barry Hearn the pimp. I can't get over that. I can't get over it. Do you know what I mean? I always used to give Chris Eubank stick. Because he was the guy we loved to hate, didn't we? He was the guy who couldn't sell a ticket. So they marketed him as, as we all want him to lose. So we tune in to watch him lose. But then once he was getting tonked one years later, we all wanted him to win, didn't we? I was always a Nigel Ben fan, me. Nigel Ben, I always wanted Nigel Ben to do well. But, but yeah, every 76 days, unbelievable. I can't get that out of my head. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. boxing. You know, it's a fantastic sport, you know. It really is a fantastic sport.